Hi, this is Maury Moreland Morrison, here to tell you GEICO has more than just great savings. Much more. GEICO's been around for more than 75 years, back when they were using Morse code. Sorry, that's just my sense of humor. What's more, with GEICO, you get 24-7 access to licensed agents on the app, online, or over the phone, so you can talk to them at night or in the morning. So forevermore, just know that no other auto insurer has more more than GEICO. More power to you. GEICO. Expect great savings and a whole lot more. You're tuning in to the Goldilocks presentation of the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine Show with Anthony Rodriguez. Anthony Rodriguez, a.k.a. Walking Crow, found transformational energy healing through a personal search and a healing and was transformed by this experience. He made the decision to pursue training and has since become a certified energy healing practitioner with an emphasis on working with clients in recovery from addiction. His willingness to be open and listen has allowed him to be of service to many who seek a peaceful, serene, and healthier body, mind, and spirit. Call in now if you would like to speak with Anthony. The call in number is 713-955-0332. Enjoy this transformational and healing show. Well, good afternoon, and thank you for coming back to another Tuesday edition of the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine. My name is Anthony Rodriguez, Walking Crow, and I, I am your host. Today, we're going to be talking about the importance of grounding through the eclipse season and time of retrograde. Are you grounding, and do you need help? Are you rooted and fruited? Are you in your foundation? Are you living right here, right now, or are you practicing escapism? and living in your head, in the darkness of your brain, and not your mind, in your brain. Are you stuck in gu and unable to come out into the ru? Guru, gu to ru, gu to ru. <laughs> All right, well, you know what? Welcome to uh, Mercury Retrograde. And uh, if I said that to you and you've already been like flipping out over something, uh, too bad. I'm sorry to hear that because you don't have to flip out over Mercury and Retrograde. You're not going backward. I'm not going backward. I'm going forward, and I would like you to go forward with me. I would like you to step into the power of who and what you have always been, who you are, who you were meant to be, a whole, and not, not walk in fear, not run in fear, and not, not be confused by what's going on around you, because there are many things out there happening, and there are many things that are out there to confuse you, and you need to be right here, right now, in your well-being, in your root, in your fruit, in the ground, a hole in your foundation, and you need to be learn how to be a tree that doesn't get rocked by the four winds. And what are the four winds? A hole. Don't turn on the news to find out what the four winds are <laughs> or what some of them are. Don't be watching that poison. That is poison. This show today is about what you're willing to give yourself to help yourself move forward and stay on track and work on the project that you're working on and not get distracted and not get detracted and not get into retrograde or moving backwards and telling yourself that I can't do this. This is too much. Oh, Mercury retrograde is, 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 is messing with me. Blah, blah, blah. There's nothing to blame. There's no one, nothing to, to uh, 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 cry about or complain about. Move forward in what you know you have to do. Be sure and know who you are a whole. Look in the mirror and say, I love you. I respect you. Where have you been? I'm here to help you a whole. And if you can't help you, call somebody who can't call me. 713-955-0332. Call into the show today. I want to hear from you. I want to hear from you. So I want to say something else today, too. Uh, during the show, I will be playing um, uh, some musical tracks from Listening to Smile by Ian Morris. And um, I am enamored with, this, with his songs and his music. And, his, um, and this man, he's just a, a beautiful, giving man. And uh, he moves forward in his music and his projects. And he has invited 15 of us healers and light workers worldwide to do a project with him. So every chance I get, I play his music, whether I'm drumming over it, whether I'm speaking over it, whether it's a part of the soundtrack of my, of my life or what I'm doing. And I post that you can buy this music at www.listeningtosmiles.com. And you can get a 10% discount on this music, this incredible music, by entering 
the code Anthony J, all in lowercase, Anthony J. So go ahead and go to uh, uh, www.smiling with, uh, excuse me, the www.listening to smile and, and check out Ian Morris's beautiful, beautiful, beautiful music and, and make it your own as well. I hope, I hope. Wow, what an incredible week. You know, everybody, you know, Mercury went into retrograde on Saturday night, uh, early Sunday morning, and people were already talking crazy on Saturday, and the news was mayhem, and people were unfortunately murdered and lost their lives. And, but we're not here to bring that kind of message. We're here to bring a different kind of message. And we're here to bring a message of grinding. But first, I want to give you a little bit of my calendar of what's going on. Um, tonight, you can, uh, you can find me at um, Men in Self-Care. Miscellaneous is a bilingual event. This is a sacred men's circle where you can come and you can share your voice, share what's going on with you, share share what's on your mind. When you've had trouble speaking to in your relationships and to your relationships, you can come here and learn to speak with us. And and for, not for us, but you can come here and learn to speak. And we are going to be at 236 West Mountain Street, suite number 115 in Pasadena, 91103 tonight from 7 p.m to 8.30 p.m. That's right. And come and learn how to be in your voice, man. And on the 26th of August, I'm going to be back out in, in Palm Desert at Venus de Fido for this side of consciousness. If you don't know what this side of consciousness, consciousness is, this is an opportunity for those who are conscious and aware, for those who are unconscious and unaware, and for those who don't, aren't quite sure what that really means, to come and learn what it is to, to come into your awareness and, and the consciousness of your being, of who you are, and how energy, the subtle energy body works, and how it's attached to your emotions and the things that happen in your life. And that's going to be Saturday, August 26th at 12 p.m. Actually, actually, about 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. It's $25. You can call Venus to Fido at area code, let me see what that area code is, at 760-834-7070. You can reserve your space by paying $25, and that's going to be an incredible event. I did that event two weeks ago, um, uh, Saturday, uh, last Saturday, and uh, it was just an incredible, incredible event, and we had a great turnout. And then again, I'm back at Venus de Fido um, on Saturday, September 2nd for the second chakra uh, a workshop, and we're going to, uh, uh, you know, water, emotional, identity, oriented in self-gratification, the emotional body and self, where you can learn to connect to others, develop fluidity, grace, depth, and feeling, sexual fulfillment, and the ability to accept change and heal. Do you know how to heal? Do you know how to feel? Do you? Because there are many of us who practice escapism and then we, we don't get an opportunity or give ourselves opportunity to feel and to allow ourselves to be with the emotions of what's going on in our life. And we escape into the thinking of those feelings and not actually the feeling of the dealing of those feelings and the feeling of those feelings. So come on at September 2nd at 12 o'clock. It's $25 in Palm Desert at Venus de Fido. It's on my event page as well. And I'm excited about being out there. That we're going to be doing some great stuff out at Venus de Fido. And then again, I'm doing uh, this side of consciousness uh, on September 10th at an incredible facility, Body, Mind, Spirit Gym in the San Diego area, actually National City. Uh, it, it's called Disco Lift at 901 Coolidge Avenue in National City, California, 91950. You can come out and learn about consciousness and what consciousness is for you and how you can become connected to your awareness and to yourself. I hope that is on Sunday, September 10th at 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Check out my, my Facebook web page or you can go to my calendar on my, um, uh, on my website at sacreddrum24.weebly.com and you can look for that event as well. Well, far out and fantastic. And also, not to be left out, but this Sunday, we're doing a new moon manifestation at the Church of Truth at 6.30 p.m. It's $20. Come out and set your intentions of what you want to let go. Set your intentions of what you want to step into for the new moon, the new projects, the new lifestyle, the new way of being that you want to step into. A whole. Come and be with the new, the new moon energy and step into a new way of being, new way of living, and, and, and a new way of letting go of the old way. A whole. All right. So let's move on. What? We're talking about grounding today. We're talking about being rooted and fruited. And uh, what does it mean to be rooted and fruited? What does it mean to be in my ground? Anthony, what the heck are you talking about? 
Well, if anybody was watching um, or on uh, social media last night on Facebook, uh, myself and a beautiful friend of mine, Angela Jean Harnett, uh, we did a, a, a over a one hour uh, talk, um, Facebook Live, on, on the importance of grounding and being rooted and fluid and being in your foundation. And what does that mean? It means being connected to Mother Earth, to Gaia, to Pachamama, Aho, Mother Earth. It means to take. It means taking your shoes off every now and again and putting your feet on the grass, putting your feet on the dirt, putting you putting your feet on the earth, connecting to something that's more powerful than yourself, connecting to an energy that's so powerful it flows through every single fiber of your being. I hope, I hope every single fiber of you, your being. Can you imagine that? And it flows through every tree, through every fish, through every drop of water, molecule of water. It drops through, it, it passes through every rock, rock, passes through every body, the billions and billions of people who live on this planet. That energy passes through all of us. And most times, most people are unaware of it, I hope. And they really don't care to connect to Mother Earth because they really don't know what that means. But I'm going to tell you, if you're living in your head, if you're not grounding, if you're not taking the time to smudge and drink water and give yourself first medicine, water, I hope. If you're not giving yourself that medicine, what are you giving yourself? Are you giving yourself fruity, uh, fructose-filled uh, drinks? Um, are you giving yourself energy drinks that really aren't helping you with your energy at all? They're full of chemicals that aren't necessary. You know, they're full of pesticides. They're full of all kinds of things. They come in a can. I hope they also come in a can. What are you giving yourself and what are you willing to give yourself to change your life? Do you want to change your life? Or do, are you just happy going willy-nilly along with the herd and, be, and not being actually a, a leader and not a, a, actually doing something for yourself and giving your, something to yourself and, and giving that to others? You can't give away what you haven't got. So if you're not rooted and fruited and in Mother Earth and in your ground and in, and in rest and with your ancestors, I hold direction of the north, direction of earth, direction of wisdom, wisdom, direction of rest, direction of white buffalo, aho, aho. I was with white buffalo medicine on Saturday out in, at the in Palm Desert, and she was beautiful, and she was sharing her tears, and she was in her earth. She was in her feet. I brought them into her feet, their feet by dancing, by banging on the drum, by playing the drum, and they danced, and they danced, and they danced, and they connected with Mother Earth, and they felt the emotions of what it was like to connect to Mother Earth and feel her in your soul, in their soul, a home. And they cried and they wept. And they shared, she, this woman shared her tears, a home. She took on the form of white buffalo and we saw her. Now this might sound a little woo-woo to some of you, but uh, if you're not privy to this kind of information, uh, you may not know what I'm talking about. So listen closely. Listen closely. And what is it you want to give to you? A whole. What is it you've been giving to yourself? Have you been feeding yourself poison? Do you give yourself information that isn't nutritious, that isn't, doesn't have any nutrient in it? Have you been giving yourself information secondhand from somebody else, believing that it's true just because they said it, just because you heard it? Not everything that you hear is true. Not everything that is said is true. And saying not, not everything that you hear is false. Not everything that, you, that is said is false. You have to be use discernment and figure out what is best for you. Aho, and, and, and investigate and ask, is it true? Is this true? Is this true for me? Is it true for you? Aho. Aho. 713-955-0332. Call in. Push one to get out of listen mode. And my producer will know that you want to talk. My name is Anthony Rodriguez, Walking Crow, and you are listening to the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine Show. And in the background, you're listening to music by Ian Morris, listening to Smile, and uh, an incredible soundtrack for life, an incredible soundtrack for meditation, an incredible soundtrack for medicine. What is your medicine? And you can add this, um, this medicine to your uh, arsenal or to your tool belt by going to uh, www.listeningtosmile and uh, purchase it and enter uh, code Anthony J, all lowercase, uh, and receive a 10% discount. Uh, you no, know, I was going to start doing commercials, but I really respect Ian's work, and uh, I love him as a man, 
and, as, and as a, now as a friend, and he's connected me to 15 other beautiful healers across the globe, and we are working together, and uh, we are reaching out to each other. And this is what being grounded is across the, across the globe, across Mother Earth, reaching my arms out across Mother Earth because somebody reached his arms out to me from New York City across the country, across, across 3,000 miles of Earth, a whole, and a couple of lakes and rivers. <laughs> well, fantastic. Fantastic. Wow. Grounded. Being grounded. Rooted and fluid. You know, um, and let me ask you a question. Do you spend a lot of time practicing escapism, living up in your head where um, nothing happens but a lot of spinning? Do you spend a lot of time up there? And why would you do that? Why wouldn't you give yourself something back? I oh. hope. You know, my friend Angela, uh, Arnett, uh, every day I see a video that, she, that she'll post. If she goes out to the river, she lives up in Spokane, Washington area. And she goes out to the river, and she lays on the ground, and she drinks water, and she she gets into the water, and she smudges, and she prays, and she rattles, or she drums, and she smudges, and she does all these things. And I did that this morning. I left I left home, and I went to, out to the uh, lower royal or the upper royal, excuse me, today. And I uh, I spent my time walking and drumming, uh, walking and, and, and being with. With the elements, the four elements, I was with the grandmother trees and the grandmother and the grandfather rocks, and with all the spirits, I hope, and all the, uh, the uh, my brothers and sisters of the air, you know, the birds, the wonderful birds in that area, and the ground animals, squirrels and and possums and, and whatnot, those animals that are there, and uh, you know, I walked and I prayed and I walked and I prayed, then I was able to stop and drum and offer tobacco and pray and be grateful and ask for help of the spirit. And the spirit guides and the animal spirit or the animal guides that are in my life that help me each and every day, whether it's coyote, whether it's cougar, whether it's panther, whether it's wolf, aho, whether it's owl, whether it's snake, whether it's grizzly bear, aho, I carry grizzly bear medicine. No matter what it is, no matter what the medicine is, um, you know, uh, I, I, I'm grateful to have it and I, I thank them and ask them for being with me. Uh, uh, I thank them and ask them to be with me. And I thank them for being with me. Excuse me. My tongue gets tied there. And um, my experience with those things and those entities changes. And which means if my experience with them changes, it means that I'm changing because I'm he who knows this. I'm he who is aware. I'm he who understands. Uh, uh, I'm he who, 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 who listens. I'm he who sees. I'm he who feels. I hope. Are you he who understands? Are you he who is aware? Do you want to be? Do you want to be aware? Do you want to be aware? You know? And uh, do you want to change your life? Do you want to make things different in your life and you don't know how? There was a young man who, who called me. I think his name, his name is Paul. He called me from the Ashland, Oregon area yesterday. And he first he sent me a message saying, uh, I love you. I love your work, he said, and I love what you do. He said, I think you're the man to help me. And uh, he, I gave him my phone number, and he called me, and he reached out, and he's struggling. He's struggling with, with alcohol. He's struggling with, with sobriety or, or trying to be sober. He's, he's struggling with trying to live a sober life. And, uh, and I told him he needed to learn how to come out of his head and come out of the thinking and come out of the... Um, the destruction of the escapism, and, and I told him he needed to come into his body and learn how to feel the feelings and be with the feelings that only he can be with, only he understands. And he, and, and you know, he frankly, he's going to have to learn how to cry, and he's going to have to learn how to really get angry, not hold his tongue, and he's going to really have to learn how to feel, and he's going to re- have to really learn how to be sad and get sad and not get sad with alcohol. You know, not get sad with drugs or whatever it is the case, whatever the case may be. I, you know, I'm I'm only assuming, and you know what they say, you never assume. I hope, you know, uh, it's, I'm assuming it's those things because we spoke of some of those things, and there might be some or one or all of those things. And I'm the first person to say, you know, uh, if you're drinking alcohol, spirits in, spirit out. They're called spirits for a reason, I hope, you know. And some people would call it truth, sir, because some people start to talk about things that, they never talk about when they're drinking. And, and that's probably the worst time uh, uh, to um, start drinking, you know, or, 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 you know what I'm saying. Anyway, 
anyway. Uh, you know, I'm feeling really at peace today and I'm feeling really, really uh, in love. And, and when I say in love, what am I in love with? And what is it that I'm loving? And I have to tell you, I'm loving my feelings. I'm loving the way that I am today. I'm loving the way that you are today. Regardless of what's going on in the world, I am in a place of love and a place of consideration and a place of compassion and a place of giving and a place of nurturing and a place of wanting to help those around me. Do you need help? Can you help others? I hope. In uh, the 12 step program, uh, we, we like to say freely, freely we give, you know. And it's not always freely. I'm, I, I work for a living, and I, I, a lot of what I do energetically, I get paid for. Yeah, it's my job. And people say, well, you know, how can you charge? You know, you're this, that, and they give me a title, and I say, you know what? <laughs> Hello, you, hi, human. I still have to live. You know, nobody brought me any chicken or, or, uh, or a gallon of. A loaf of bread or, or a sandwich or anything. So, you know, I need to charge for my services. And there's a lot of us who do that. And, um, you know, if you don't understand that, you might want to get a little educate, educated on, me, on, on medicine, what people are doing and how. We're in modern times now. We're not living in the mountains of the jungle where, you know, money's not used. We use money in this system. In this civil, it's a place of civilization. And these things need to be taken care of in a good way, I hope. If you can go out and spend, uh, you know, $10 on a vodka drink, <laughs> spirits in, spirits out, you can spend uh, the uh, re relative amount of money on getting help from somebody who can help you and help you and, and mentor you and walk through the things that you need to walk through. Oh. So and I'm saying that because I'm grounded. I'm saying that because I'm rude. I'm saying that because I'm food. And I'm saying that because I extend my arms and my branches into the air and I allow the um, – the birds of the air to nest in my branches and eat my fruit. And everybody has heard this on this show before. And what is my fruit? My fruit is the experience. My fruit is the experience of how I got from point A to point B. Oh, point A to point B and how I got there. How I made it through what, what, what was going on in my life. Oh, how did you do that? How did you walk through that? Were you able to walk through it? Were you? Can you? Do you? These are questions I ask my audience every week. Are you out there listening? Give us a call. Give me a call. 713-955-0382. Call in and ask a question. Call in and add to what it is I have to say. Call in and tell me, Anthony, you're wrong. Or, Anthony, you may be right. Or, Anthony, that was really effective. Thank you for saying that. Call me and tell me, Anthony, you're full of crap. <laughs> call me and tell me whatever you want. You know, and if you don't call him, my feelings aren't hurt because I know there's people out there listening and have been listening for, oh, I think just about a year I've been on the air now. And it's been an incredible year. I've only, I think I took a month off in, in July, and I apologize to those who, were, who may have logged on and were looking for me and I wasn't here. My apologies. But uh, I'm here now. Be here now. Never mind what was, never mind what wasn't. Never mind what could be, never mind what should be, never mind what can be. Be here now and be mindful. Come into your mindfulness of how you feel, of what you're doing, of how you can be right here, right now. I hope. And I have to tell you, I have some new clients, and there are a couple who came to me, and um, they were referred to me by somebody that, that, was, that she respected, and this woman, the person that, was, that uh, referred them to me, um, uh, obviously respects my work and understands what it is that I do. And they came to see me, and they like what they heard. And um, uh, the, I, I, I saw the, the, them as a couple, then I saw them individually, and I did, I had a conversation with her, and then we did some energy work. And, but then when I saw him, uh, we just talked, because it's a, it's a harder nut, <laughs> if you will. I'm not calling them nuts or anything. I'm just saying he's no harder than a crack. He, he's more of a thinker. He's more of a, he spends more time hiding, I, I don't want to say. And he's got some of the same issues I do. So that's why I took time to actually speak to him more and not do energy work with him. Well, after this, I got a, I got some messages that I was called a, a crackpot. I was called a, a bunch of things. And, and I thought, well, you know, that's okay. Everybody's entitled to the opinion of what they think about what I do. But what is it that you feel about what I do? 
and we, him and I had talked about feelings. I said, you know, whenever something comes up to you and you get excited or you're going to get into an argument, something comes up that you don't like, stop and take a breath. Put your feet on the floor and, and breathe into your body and notice what you're, what you're feeling in your body. Notice what your breath is doing and, 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 um, and how you're feeling. How does that make you feel? And um, oddly enough, I got a phone call this morning from, um, from, from his wife who said, you know, we were having a, uh, an argument or a discussion that got really heavy. And um, I know that something has changed because he was really quiet, but he, she said he knew, she knew he was listening. And she asked him, are you listening to what I'm saying? And he said to her, his response, and this is, came from her, his response was, I'm not saying anything because I'm listening to my body. I'm taking breaths and I'm trying to understand what's going on in my body. Now... <laughs> I do not know if people go home and practice what I ask them to practice. But in this case, I got confirmation. And I was so proud of that man. I was so proud of that man because he's a lot like me. He's got a lot of the same issues that I had to deal with for, for a lifetime that I uh, no, either no longer issue or I've learned how to um, be with. And when I heard that, I heard, and that's when I heard he was even more like me because he was willing to try even though he called me, uh, he called me a charlatan. That's what he, he called me. He called me a charlatan to somebody, and he called me a few other choice words. And that's okay. That doesn't hurt my feelings because I'm grounded and I'm rooted and fruited, and I'm in the power of who and what I am and what I've always been. And um, that doesn't rock my boat. You know, there are people who are going to like what I do. There are people who are not going to like what I do, and that's okay. You know, that's perfectly fine. You know. Not everybody has to like what I do. But if you don't like what I do, but you're in the practicing of what I say and what I believe and what I've taught you, that speaks so much louder than calling me a charlatan or calling me any kind of word or, uh, or anything that you do because you don't understand. But once you feel the feelings in your body, you are grounded, you are rooted, you are rooted, you're taking the time to breathe in and breathe out and understand what the feeling is that you're feeling. It changes not only your mind. It changes your heart. It changes your soul. It changes the pattern of, of the life that you've already had for a life. You just made a right turn as opposed to making a left. And you did something good for yourself. And you took a breath and you went deep and you looked into your soul and said, okay, this is where I am. That's what being grounded is. That's what being rooted and seated is. That's what being, that's what being in who and what you have always been is that is being in your medicine, in your medicina. You're reaching back into your lineage and being with your ancestors, the whole, noticing your body, noticing your body. What happens there when you put your feet on the floor and you are, are you with your ground and you take a breath? And she also notices that she said that she noticed some changes in him. <clears throat> and I talked about first medicine with my friend Angela practicing water, that they were in a swimming pool, they were doing some swimming, and she noticed he was with us in the water. He was being with the water. He was being healed by the water. Water is a healing element. And it can heal from the outside and heal from the inside, and the inside out from the outside in out. And that's when it changes the note. So the medicine is working even though somebody doesn't go. And I was once asked by a, a gentleman at a place called the Fremont Gallery in South Pasadena, he said, Anthony, if I come to you and I don't believe in what you do, does it work? I said, well, why would you come to me? <laughs> and that was four or five years ago. That was about five years ago. And, um, and you know, and uh, I don't know where he went, but I know that gallery is not there anymore. What is it you're willing to do for yourself? What is it you're willing to believe? What is it you're willing to give yourself? Are you willing to take a shot and give yourself something that you've never tried before? Or are you going to try the same old thing time after time after second after second after minute after minute after hour after hour after day after week after, after month after year after decade after millennium? I hope. Are you willing to go through that? And do the same thing, and you know what they call that? Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and trying to, and waiting for a different result. Are you willing to keep trying that, or are you willing to try and give yourself something new? 
like leaning up against the tree and sleeping and sleeping under a grandmother tree where white work the roof goes into the ground and be energized by that tree and be energized by Mother Earth and breathe in of the oxygen that comes from that tree. Oxygen comes from the tree. The lungs of this world are in South America. They have destroyed the lungs in North America. Can they have been destroyed? But the lungs in South America are there and alive, and they're trying to destroy those too. But if you have the opportunity to sleep under a tree, and to sit under a tree, and to ground, and to be rooted, and to be fruited, do that, and do with that, and give yourself something different. Give yourself something different. Take off your shoes and grab the grass and the dirt and the roots and trees with your toes. Feel what that feels like underneath your feet. Oh, feel what that feels like. Be grounded, be rooted, and be fruited. Oh, 713-955-0332 is the call-in number. Press 1 to get out of listen mode and let my producer, the lovely Reverend Tiffany White Sage Woman, let her know that you want to talk to me, that you want to ask questions, that you want to receive the healing, that you want to receive a blessing. Do you want to be cleared? And if I didn't do it at the beginning of the show, and I didn't right here, right now, I want to take the time to, to clear myself of any negative and unwanted energy that I'm carrying. And I would clear the airways of any negative and unwanted energy. And it would be clear, 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 clear. And clearness would fall upon you. And, and you would be clear from the energy of the darkness and the things that you no longer want or need to carry in your life. And I would clear, I clear you of those things right here, right now. And the airways are now clear and open. And I am here and open and clear for you. What is it I can help you with? What is it I can do for you? Oh. Now I'm sitting here, and, and as I was sitting here, I reached in my pocket and I was wondering, what is this? What do I have in my pocket? Well, I, I was walking this morning in grounding. Um, I was start, I've been picking up um, acorns this week, uh, the, uh, the, the seeds from the uh, oak tree, and they're falling off. And all of these that are in front of me are green, and they fall off green. And before the squirrels can get them, I try to pick them up because I use them as a teaching tool. And uh, the teaching of this of this medicine, it's about grounding. It's about being rooted and fruited. It's about being the tree that doesn't got knocked, get knocked down by the four winds. It truly is. Um, it, it's about all these things. And this medicine, what I call medicine, is this acorn, this example of, of the Christ consciousness. This, this acorn has to thrive. This acorn has to die in and of itself it's green right now but it's going to be brown in another month and over time it's going to go get browner and deader and it's going to it's going to die and i'm saying this because a green acorn will not grow and thrive into a a, a giant uh, oak tree it will not do it as a green acorn this seed has to die this seed has to dry like the christ consciousness the Christ consciousness had to die to become uh, to become the ascended master that he has become to many, to many who revere him in this world, to many who revere him in the spirit world, to many who revere him in the universe. Aho. 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 So I, can't, I, I walk around and I pick these up and I carry them in my pocket. And when I come across somebody who asks me for advice, who asks me for help, or who comes to me for um, in my office or in my workshop, I hand them an acorn. I hand it, I hand it to them, I ask them to extend their left hand, and I give it to them in their left hand, and I ask them to understand it. The left hand that they're receiving it in is their, is their hand of a divine feminine, their hand of receiving. And this, and I will always put it in the left hand so they can receive it in a good way, so they receive the energy and the intention that I'm giving it to them. Because if I give it to them in the right hand, they're not going to be able to receive that intention and that gift in a good way. Oh, it just doesn't happen. Energetically, doesn't work that way. So I hand it to them in the left hand, and I say to them, you are going to have to die just like this seed, so you can become a mighty oak, so you can become rooted and in your foundation, so you can become rooted and fruited, so you can become the tree that doesn't get knocked down by the four winds. And what are your four winds? What are your four winds? Are your four winds poverty? Are your four winds shame? Are your four winds anger? Are your four winds of sadness? Are your four winds hurt? Are your four winds trauma? 
or your four wins PTSD or your four wins this or that or the other thing or the holding of the story of watching what somebody else has and what you don't have. I hope let go of those things coming and coming to your death and coming to your dying and coming to your transformation of who and what you are. Like the caterpillar goes to Christmas and, and, and stays in Christmas and transforms and transcends and transmutes and transitions into the beautiful, wonderful butterfly. It will never be a caterpillar again. As the pickle is, 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 as the cucumber is turned to a pickle uh, and becomes a pickle, the pickle will never become a cucumber again. Uh, and that the alcoholic, as, 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 a, as a normal drinker becomes an alcoholic and then gets sober, the, uh, the alcoholic will never be uh, normal again. Uh, he is going to have to be in the understanding and the awareness of who and what he is and what he does and how, and how he does it and how he searches for the medicine that he needs. Uh, those those who aren't grounded and who feed themselves alcohol don't understand, and I explained this to a young man in, in uh, Ashland, Oregon yesterday, that alcohol was his solution. Alcohol was not his problem. His solution was alcohol, and he is his problem. Oh, his thinking and his best thinking is his problem. His best thinking of the feelings that he's having and not actually feeling the feelings is his problem. His, his unawareness, his, his place of not being aware of what's going on in his life and how he approaches it. And if he's um, bipolar or what, whatever, he may or may not be, but if he has any of these things going on, he is unaware of what's happening in his body and his only solution is to medicate himself with alcohol, something that suppresses all those feelings, all those hurts, all those wounds, and he is ungrounded, he is unrooted, and he is unfruited. He has nothing to offer anybody a whole, and he loses his family, and he loses his family. Life does not have to be like this. We do not have to practice escapism. We could practice right hereism. We could practice being rooted ism, not rooted wisdom, rooted ism, and be in our feet, be in our body, and be in our soul. And be present for ourselves and be present for our families and be present for the loved ones who care for us. You know, there's many ways to ground. And I talked about the women that, um, that, that uh, at the workshop on Saturday and how they danced and how the medicines came in and how they were emotional and how they felt, how they were allowed themselves to be with the emotion of what they were feeling. I will ask you to do the same thing. I will ask you to, you know, hit the trail. Go climb a mountain. Go walk on the dirt. Go walk in the sand. Go out into nature and let go of the viciousness and the anger that you live your life with. Life is not meant to be life is not meant to be met by viciousness. Life is not meant to be met by anger. I hope. Life was meant to be lived in a kind and I believe a loving way. A kind and loving way. A closed fist cannot make a friend. Did you hear me? I'm going to say that again. A closed fist cannot make a friend. And right now I'm making many friends. I can't believe every day I think I'm getting two or three, two or three people uh, wanting to uh, become friends with me on social media. And I love that. I love that. That means that I have a, I'm, I'm, I'm spreading a good message and I'm, and I'm speaking a good word and I'm helping people. And people are hearing what I have to say and people are checking in with me. I got another message from a young medium, from a young medicine woman here in the San Fernando Valley, and she said to me, uh, keep doing the videos. She saw last night's video. I saw her log on, and she heard my video this morning as I that posted, and she said, keep them coming. You know, she's finding medicine in what it is that I'm saying, what it is that I'm teaching. You know, and there's days that I wish I would have had somebody to teach me this medicine as I was growing, as I was a child, maybe my father or somebody, but that wasn't the case. I hope. I had to take the hard move. I had to take the hard turn. I became a malcontent. I became rebellious over the things that happened to me, over the ways that I didn't know how to live my life. But over time and over the years of coming and in, stepping into my medicine, I understand that those are the roads that I had to take. Those are the paths that I had to take to become Anthony Rodriguez, walking hope, and to become and to be able to work in the transformational sacred drum medicine. Oh, the transformational sacred drum medicine 
And that is what I talk about. That is what I teach. I am teaching transformation. I am teaching transition. I am teaching transmutation. I am teaching uh, transformation. I am teaching magic, medicine, alchemy. Oh. Take the hardness of your heart and soften it in a way that you can love yourself and cry and, and be touched by the things that happen around you, be touched by the people around you and the souls that are willing to give you love when you're unlovable. Are you unlovable? Are you unlovable? Oh, ask yourself that question. Because if you're unlovable and you want to be loved, I want you to dial in right now, 713-955-0332. Say, Anthony, I'm unlovable, and I need your love. Help. I need your medicine. I need you to talk to me about what is it that's going on in my life. I need help from somebody. And if I can't help you, I will send you to somebody who can help you because everybody needs help. Everybody who wants help, everybody deserves help who wants it and needs it. Oh, you shouldn't have to be afraid or embarrassed or live in shame for the things that you need, for the things that you don't want to ask for. Put your feet on the floor. Take a breath into your body. Stoke that fire in your third chakra and allow that fire to burn. Some people don't know that they don't have no or low self-esteem. Oh. And if we can point that out for you, we can show you, we can show you how to change that for yourself. Let us do that. Let us try. Let us make the effort. We owe it to ourselves to do that to you for you. We owe it to you to do that for ourselves. Oh. I want to remind you that I'm talking about grounding. I'm talking about being with the elements. And I want to tell you that I am fire. I want to tell you that I am air. I want to tell you that I am water. I am earth. I am the four elements, and the four elements are me. Oh, I seek them, and they seek me. They are in me, and I am in them. And this is how I live my life. There are some. There is one. There are some people who say that I'm that uh, I need to grow up, and there are people who say that I'm irresponsible. But how irresponsible is it to know that you have a, a OCD or the, one of these labels that you give yourself? that somebody gave you or you learned to give yourself and you do nothing about it. You do absolutely nothing about it, but point the finger at what somebody else isn't to you or what somebody else doesn't do for you. I can't do that. I can't do that. I, can't, I won't be that shameful. I won't, I won't shame others for, for what they can or can't do. It's hard. Life is hard enough. They live with enough shame. People live with enough shame. I had to live a lifetime with shame. I don't have to live with shame anymore. I do not have to suffer. I am not, I said last week, I am not a Buddhist. I don't have to suffer anymore. I do not have to suffer. And I believe this. I do not have to suffer. And neither do you. And if you're done suffering, and if you want to give yourself something better, if you want to give yourself an ice cream that you never had uh, or never was able to taste in the way that you would like to taste it, dial 713-955-0332. This, this is a transformational sacred drum medicine show. And my name is Anthony Rodriguez. And I would like you to dial into that number, press one, to let my producer know that you'd like to ask a question, you'd like to say something, you'd like healing, or whatever it is you want or would need for right here, right now, to get you through the next five minutes. Can you get through the next five minutes? Do you know how to do that? Do you know that what the shames and hurts and wounds are in your body and in your life that you have avoided for a long time? Would you like to tap into Mother Earth and tap into the elements in a way that you could change your life forever if your forever was right now? Be in your forever. Give yourself the blessing. Give yourself the love. Give yourself the thing that you would like to change in your life. I hope, I hope, give yourself those things. Stop avoiding yourself. Stop avoiding yourself. You deserve. When was the last time you said to yourself, I'm stupid, I'm dumb, I don't deserve, I'm, you know, what is the way you talk to yourself and how do you do that? I hope. Do you give yourself love? Do you give yourself praise? And I'm going to tell you, giving yourself love and giving yourself praise is very grounding. It's very grounding medicine. Are you willing to give yourself something better than what you've been giving yourself for a lifetime? 
Not who? Are you? Can you? Do you? Will you? Aho. 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 Have you been listening and taking in information from the outer world that doesn't serve you, that upsets you, that makes you angry, that makes you sad, that makes you furious, that makes you raise your fist and shake your fist and be angry at whoever and whatever? Have you? You don't have to do that. You can stop drinking poison today by standing still, sitting still. Be still and know that creator is. Creator, great spirit, our whole. The creator is. He is all things to all people. What is it that you want him or her to be? For my sale, it's duality. The mind feminine, the mind feminine. Oh. How can I help you today? How can I help you to ground? How can I help you to be still? How can I help you right here, right now? Oh. Oh. Now, I want to remind you again that the music you're listening to is by Ian Morris and listening to smile.com. Go ahead and uh, go to listening to smile.com and you can purchase this music for 10% off by entering the code Anthony J in lowercase letters. Music for the soul, music for the being. I've been playing it since I started, since I went on the air earlier, and uh, it's been really. Uh, resonating in my body, resonating in my soul. And I want to thank him for bringing, into his, bringing me into his project of all of these other life workers worldwide. All right. So, you know, so there we talked about the egg cords. We talked about uh, smudging and sage. And in fact, you know, um, you know, when I, when I, when I go to uh, uh, gather sage, gathering sage isn't going to cut you. I have to hike into where it is. I have to be grounded. I'm grounding as I get there. And when I get there, I'm offering tobacco to Mother Earth. I'm offering an element, another medicine of tobacco to Mother Earth in four directions to do exactly that, to be able to receive in a good way and not just take something because I feel like it's taken. It is not mine. It wasn't given to me for me to keep. It was given, it was given so I could use it at home and use it in a good way. Use it in your bed. How can I help you? What can I do with you? How can I help you to ground? How can I help you to be right here right now? And maybe it's as simple as creating a um, a mindfulness walk, a mindfulness walk, taking people out to be mindful, to show them what it's like to be mindful with the grandmother tree, to show them what it's like to be with the grandmother and the grandfather, to show them the rock, to show them what it's like to be with uh, Father Scott, Grandfather Son, a whole grandmother moon. To teach them what it's like to be with the elements, the four elements of fire, air, water, and, and earth. Uh, not everybody knows what that like, what that's like and what that feels like. Wiggling your toes in the sand. You know, Saturday after uh, my event, my um, the owner of Venus of Fido and my director there, we went into the salt cove. It's uh, full of Himalayan salt. And we sat and we had a meeting and they sat on the floor with their, with their feet in the sand and, and salt. And I sat with my feet in the salt and played with the salt and allowed my feet to feel that and allowed the energy to, to ebb and flow and for my body to be purified by that salt. But we sat, had to sit in it and we allowed ourselves to sit there for two hours. Can you give yourself two minutes and that's your hour? Can you give yourself 12 minutes, 20 minutes? And build up the two hours and give yourself something that's good for you, that allows you to release, that allows you to be still, that allows you to know that Creator is. Be still and know that Creator is. Uh, oh. 713 Call in, say hello, call in, get it done. You know, and I want to thank um, I want to thank my producer, Reverend Tiffany White Bagel. Uh, she she gives us this because she's grounded it because she's reading it through. She runs Golden Rock Production, and she ha- allows a lot of us healers, a lot of us light workers, to be on and have our shows on her network. You know, and you can find us on networks across the dial on the internet. 
you know, as the, as the, just, just, you know, just look, find us with our archives. You can just, you don't have to be listening at 1 o'clock on Tuesday. You can be listening at 4 o'clock on a Thursday if you miss something and you want to catch it and you want to learn some really great medicine. All of us are available all the time through Goldilocks Production. Oh, and it's because, um, uh, Reverend, Reverend Tiffany White Sage Woman is who she is that we're able to be here right here, right now and I'm eternally grateful for that oh. anyway so you know Mother Earth grounded, being rooted in fruit connecting connecting to Gaia connecting to Pachamama oh. you know allowing the energies your, 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 uh, your physical body to sink into Mother Earth and allowing your, your your physical body to grow roots and have those roots extend down into into the same middle earth, <clears throat> into the, the the lava lava and volcanic energies of middle earth, the molten energy, the whole as that energy, hot energy, uh, colorful energy flows upward and and it, and it manifests change in your whole. It manifests change and allows you to ground and allows you to be present and it permeates your body and travels upward through your kundalini, ah, ooh, up through your kundalini to your first chakra, enters to your first chakra, the base of your spine, and, and onto the superhighway. And it, it, uh, it makes its way upward to your second chakra connection, connection to self, connection to emotion, water element, ah, ooh, and it makes itself up, it takes itself upward to the third chakra where your fire, your flutter, your no or low self-esteem turns into esteem, ah, ooh, and it travels upward to your heart space where you feel love and you know that you are loved. You love and you are loved. Oh. And it travels upward to your fifth chakra and unblocks and opens that space in the fifth chakra and allows you to come out of your third eye into the sinking, into the darkness, into your voice of expression, allowing yourself to be free and come into your body, come into your heart, come into your soul, come into the fire, your way your connection to self and others and Mother Earth. Oh. And go up into your seventh chakra into your crown, into universe, create a great spirit, and extend that energy up into the heavens, and that energy makes its way back downward through your crown chakra, down into your sixth, your, your sixth chakra, your third eye, and down in through your fifth and crosses the bridge of your fourth chakra, the bridge, the fourth chakra, the bridge to the lower self, and into your fire, your fuego, your connection, and down into your root, and that connection from universe, from create a great spirit, connects to Mother Earth, and we all three become one. Ah -ho. Ah -ho. How do you want to ground? Can you ground? You can come out to any one of my uh, workshops and you can learn how to do these things, or you can call me at 30 code 818 442 1717, or reach out to me at anthonyfakergovmedicine.com and get a 20 minute consultation, or set up an energy healing for yourself and get started on the fast track of loving yourself and grounding yourself and uh, being compassionate with yourself and giving yourself the magic of um, alchemy and change transformation that you've always wanted, that you've always needed, that you always didn't know how to give yourself. Aho! 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 713-955-0332. We have a few minutes left. We're coming up on the hour. And uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, to call in and um, check out with us and say hello. Uh, we'd be glad to hear your voice, even for a minute. Uh, you know, we don't take requests. <laughs> this isn't a Huggy Boy show, for those of you who know what that is. Or this isn't that kind of a radio show. But we do take requests for prayer. We do take requests for uh, outreach and help. What is it you need? What is it you want? How can I help you right here, right now? What is it in your life that you need help with? What is it, and how is it that you've never learned to ask for help? You do not have to be afraid. You do not have to live in fear. You can be present and accountable, and you can say to yourself, I cannot live like this any longer. How can I get help? Who can help me? I need to call Anthony. I need to call Angela Hartman. I need to call a Reverend Tiffany White Sage Woman because she knows somebody who can help me. If not her, who? If not her, who? Because she can help you too. Oh. 
she didn't get here by accident. She doesn't have this network by accident. This is, this is part of a bigger plan. I hope many of us are now part of this plan. And we are well connected. We are well rooted. We are well suited. We are grounded. And this is part of our foundation. This is part of my foundation of my medicine and how I move forward in my life. Not everybody else gets to heal beside me. I'm not the only one who gets to heal and everybody else doesn't. When you get your healing, I receive a healing. When I get my healing, you receive a healing. It is all ex- in the fact that it is all ebb and flow. How can I help you? What can I do for you? I hope. What can I do for you? I, am, I have changed my life and transformed my life in a way that I never imagined. And right now, my life is transforming through the Mercury and retrograde, through the eclipse season, through all the and these crazy energies and things that are happening right now. These crazy energies do not have to rock your world. They do not have to make you unstable, scared, feel ashamed, hurt, feel hurt, feel wounded. You don't have to feel any of those things. Because we And we can teach you how to do that. We can tell, teach you how to be centered, how to be rooted, how to be grounded, how to be fluid. Oh, and then you can extend your branches and have allow the birds of the air to nest in your tree your branches and eat of your fruit. Oh. Be here now is all I ask. Be present. Remove the anxiety from your life. There are people in this world who don't know what anxiety is when they're feeling anxiety. They're not sure. They don't know how to uh, name it. They don't know how to uh, be with it. And if you're uh, suffering from anxiety, what is it you're not letting go, let go of in the next five minutes or the last five minutes? And you're avoiding being present and being right here, right now. I hope. Let go of a stressful life. It's not yours. Let go of anxiety. It isn't yours. I, I met a man one day at the store where I work, uh, Sprouts, in the vitamin department. And he was telling me that, you know, he can't meditate. You know, uh, he can't take a day off either because, you know, because he'll lose his business. Well, he lives in fear. He's not in his roots. He's not in his. He's not in his medicine. He's living in fear. He's living in his head. He's a tech for God's sake. He's always in his head. But he needs to learn how to come out of his head when he comes home and just be home and, and understand. That home is is a place of safety. Home, home is a place of security. Home isn't a place where you have to go to work and be worried about your job being there or not. I hope. Because fact of the matter is, your job will be there or it won't be there if you're good at what you do. I hope or not good. Working longer hours is not going to save your job. <laughs> you know, being present, being around, being rooted, being fruited. I hope that'll do it. Right here, right now. Be present. Come out of your anxiety of what you think is happening and come into the presence of the present time, the present moment. Put a ribbon around it. Put a ribbon around your wrist and look at yourself. And every time you feel like you're having a bit of anxiety, say, nope, I'm present. And unwrap that ribbon like it's a gift a oh, whole give that to yourself make that a practice or, or tie ribbons around your house when you're stressed out and feeling anxiety you don't know how to root you don't know how to root sit down and put your feet flat on the floor take a deep breath close your eyes exhale and if there's a ribbon in front of you untie it and open that gift it's a gift to yourself tie a ribbon around your ankle tie a ribbon, ribbon around your wrist tie a ribbon around your forehead while you're walking around the house and when you feel the anxiety, and you stop to recognize it and understand what it is. You give yourself the gift of breath, the gift of grounding, the gift of being. But tie that ribbon and give yourself a true gift. A whole, a whole. I want to remind you that you're listening to the Transformational Sacred Drum Medicine Show. My name is Anthony Rodriguez, and I am your host. And I will ask you, what is it that you're looking for? What is it that you seek? What kind of healing do you want? Or do you even know? You know, you can always call me. You can always contact me. You can go to my website at uh, sacreddrum24.weebly.com. You can look up and see what I do. You can look at my events. And you can purchase things that you would like to buy that I, that I offer. You can see what kind of medicine I manage, what kind of energy healings I do, what kind of packages. Or you can call me at 818-442-1717 and set an appointment. Or you can uh, reach me at Anthony at sacreddrummedicine.com. I hope. 
You can reach out and get an energy healing, and make an appointment. You can do any of those things. Or you can go to my Facebook page and see and see the events and come to the event starting this Sunday. And learn how to be grounded. Learn how to receive the gifts that you have always deserved and you have always wanted to give yourself. Oh, oh. Once again, I want to thank my producer, Reverend Tiffany White, uh, for being, being a beautiful soul and, and being encouraging, being loving, and understanding uh, and giving us a place to do what we do. My name is Anthony Rodriguez Walking Crow, and you have been listening to the Transformation of Sacred Drum Medicine Show. I look forward to talking to you next Tuesday, but for today, I hope you have a great day. Yo, everybody get up! Everybody get up! Everybody needs to understand that I'm more than simply a hype man for this rap group. Just like Geico is more than just a company that can save you money. Geico also has fast and friendly claim service so they can help you when you need it most. And while I do love being a hype man, I also love reading for children's audiobooks. Like Little Bo Peep, she lost the sheep and she don't know where to find them. Yo! Geico, expect great savings and a whole lot more.